to Illinois State Senator Don Harmon. Unfortunately, we do not often hear the words legislative and courage used together in the same sentence. But together, they perfectly describe both Ed Mikva, and who's this in excuse me, in whose name this award is given, and Senator Don Harmon, its recipient. About Abner and his courage, I quote from Conversations with Abner Mikva, a book by Abs and my friend Sandy Horwood. And I quote, in the 1970s, he, Ab, was the most outspoken gun control, excuse me, was the most outspoken advocate in Congress for gun control, including a ban on the sale and manufacture of handguns. When President Carter appointed Ab to be a judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit in 1979, the NRA launched a national anti mikva campaign and came very close to derailing the nomination. Close quote. Ab himself told me that when it was reported that the NRA had spent approximately a million dollars on that campaign. His wife Zoe commented that, she had, that if she had known that there was that kind of money involved, she would have suggested they talk settlement. <laughs> <laughs> when I first met Ab 50 years ago, approximately, Ab had just moved from Hyde Park, a safely democratic district, to Evanston because he'd been gerrymandered out of his district by the leader of his party, the powerful Mayor Richard J. Daley. Abner was too independent, liberal, and yes, courageous to suit the mayor. Near the end of his life, when he was almost 90 years old, physically weak, and had lost most of his sight, I brought to Abner's attention the fact a substantial number of people were serving sentences with no possibility of parole for crimes that they had committed when they were minors, some as young as 14 years old. Ab immediately began to help. Ab visited in prison and testified for Adolfo Davis, the first person to receive a resentencing hearing after the Supreme Court ruled that mandatory life sentences for minors were unconstitutional. Adolfo's hearing began in the morning and lasted until late at night without any intermission. And he had stayed for the entire proceeding. When this organization was formed, Ab served as a founding member of its board. When Restore Justice needed a champion in the Illinois legislature, Ab contacted his former student, Don Harmon, whom Ab was confident would have the courage to help us. Of course, Ab was right. Don did not have to, excuse me, Don did not have to say yes to Ab. He didn't have to stick with a really hard bill year after year, resisting tremendous pressure from prosecutors. He's majority leader of the Senate from Oak Park. His constituencies have other priorities like education, affordable health care, and economic development. He could be a very successful legislator, never stepping out of those three areas. But Don is a leader who walks in Abner Mikva's footsteps. He feels responsible as a legislator, as a legislator, not just to his donors and voting constituents, but to our civic life. He champions and drives the passage smart gun laws and got a law passed earlier this year to limit potentially cruel and inhumane immigration enforcement practices by local police. Don had the courage to say yes when Abner asked him to help unpopular people convicted of the most serious crimes seeking a second chance. Unfortunately, Abner cannot be here to personally present you with this award, Don. But I'm happy to say that we have some of his relatives here. Mary Mikva, one of his daughters, and a distinguished jurist. <laughs> Senator Harmon, where are you, buddy? <laughs> we're, proud to give you, we're proud to give you our first Abner victim. 
Captain McFa Legislative Courage Award. You've earned it, and Andrew would be very proud. This is the first I've heard that when Abner asked, I could have said no. <laughs> you don't say no to Abner, you don't say no to Joby, uh, and uh, I, am, I am humbled and honored uh, to, to, uh, to receive this award. Uh, Restore Justice is, is such a powerful force in Springfield and has only increased its traction over the last decade here. Um, I, 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 I miss Abner. I, I, to be able to call and ask his advice, uh, he was there from day one. As a student, when I asked him about running for office, he said, do it, don't wait. Uh, when I first decided to run, he was one of the first people to step up and host a fundraiser for me. And he was always there to handle those hard questions that I needed uh, a, a wise man to answer for me. So uh, I am realizing now, though, that uh, as I get older and my mentors are not at the other end of the telephone, it is incumbent upon all of us to do the same thing that Abner did for me, and that's to begin to bring forward the next generation of leaders who are going to step into these roles. And uh, I am so grateful that the Illinois State Senate is full of them. I know Senator Robert Peters was supposed to be here. Uh, he's one of those guys who just arrived in Springfield and demanded to be on the Criminal Law Committee. And, I said, we'll find a way to get you there. It is so encouraging to see new members step in and who want to tackle bail reform and tackle these hard issues. It's, uh, it is comfortable to have uh, allies and numbers to win these fights because we only win these fights when more people vote for us than against us. But I will stick with that fight and I will keep trying to work to bring more people into it, uh, just like Abner brought me. So to the Mikva family, thank you for uh, sharing this with me. It means a, a great deal to attach uh, Ab's name to, to mine, uh, even for this uh, this fleeting moment in time. I will do my best never to let you down. God bless you all. Thanks so much.